Hello everyone, I wanted to uh, do a quick video to show some of the new uh, features I've been working on the past couple of days. The um, So currently, to do a selection, you would do a drag and you get a big yellow box like this. And so if I wanted to have, have an effect here, let's say I drag one down and put it in here. There's no easy way to to get multiple copies of it. it. You know, if you have your timing bars active, you can do a Control C, click Control V, and get multiple copies that way. Or you could unclick it and select them and do a Control C and click somewhere and do Control V and get multiples that way. And so when you're in when you have a timing bar or ti yeah, timing track active we do the selection like this and that's that's how you would select a group of effects so this is in the current version and by the way I was just posting something I discovered if you select all these effects let me turn that off so you can see it go over and make a color change and hit update see them all change and what do we have here we have these are galaxy effects I'm going to go up and click on the morph hit update change an option you'll watch the head duration change when I hit update so you can already in the current version do multi-effect changes that are you know going to make you uh, or allow you to be able to select multiple effects and say well I want to add a color into those two effects and it just changed both of them so that's pretty cool so I'm going to minimize that and bring up what the new version I'm working on so this is a customer's display that he might recognize I'm going to open up open up a sequence let me just expand this just a little so so now what the difference is, is if you don't have a timing track, you get your normal yellow box for selecting effects. But if you do activate a timing track, now you can select these cells. And it doesn't matter. It's going to do whatever the cell size is. So if you have a different timing track, let me zoom in on that one, then you'll get that size. If you switch over to you know, a different timing track, it's going to always snap to the size of the timing track cells. So what that allows you to do right now is you can select several cells and say hit a key on your keyboard like a U for doing an upward ramp and I just created a, an upward ramp So I thought that was pretty cool and then as an added feature they're all selected now. Let's say oh wait I really wanted red. Hit the update button now they're all red. Let's say you wanted to kind of do this more of a chase. Hold down the alt key and just drag these over. And let's do something like to a downward ramp. Let's change those all back to green. Now I don't have it set where you can grab the top end yet. I'll have to work on that. So, But what you could do is you could drag this bottom over like that and then go over to the shift key and then move that whole group over. And you could almost get these things lined up. Again, when I do this, I'm holding down the Alt key, back to the Shift key to move the whole group. And if you really just wanted to do it, you could go in and grab each one, pull it, pull it in. Go and select all those. I can hit delete and say, no, I really wanted an on 
effect for all of those. Hold down all. So I thought with some uh, pretty cool additions that make it feel a little bit more like a grid editor like people want. So now you can go in and select select an area and use the keyboard to type in your hotkey effects. Soon I'd like to make it where you could like select this area and go up here and click an effect and it would lay the effect down in there, but I need to do a little work to get that going. But hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.